we begin the hour in East Africa, and there's been big drama in the tiny country of Burundi. It's been rocked in recent months by violence, links to President Pierre Nkurunzinza's decision to seek a third term in office. And today, President Nkurunzinza sprung a surprise on the entire region, holding his inauguration days ahead of schedule. CCTV's Jen Keo has more. President Pierre Nkurunzinza told supporters on Thursday that his swearing in shows, quote, nobody can stop the sun from shining. He's also pledged to restore peace in Burundi within two months. Many Burundians will be hoping he can deliver. Dozens have been killed in recent clashes in Burundi. More than 100,000 have fled the country. Opponents say the constitution prohibits a third presidential term. But official results shown Kurunzinza won his third term with almost 70% of the vote. Proof, according to his supporters, that the country wants him to stay another five years in charge. The African Union, for one, has refused to recognize the result, saying the elections were not free and fair. Kurunzinza's government says it's now time to repair relations. We do not have a problem with the international community. And again, we have no uh, at any time. I had any, any problem with the African Union. You are referring to the, stat the statements made by the chairperson of the commission, who is but a person, not the African Union. We, we will agree that uh, the African Union as, as, as an organization to which Burundi is, 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 you know, um, is a member uh, does not have a problem with Burundi. The president's plan also includes following the recommendations of regional mediators and bringing political opponents into his new government. He is about to form that government of national unity. Consultations have been underway over the last days, and uh, I believe in, uh, in, in, in a few, uh, in, in, in a short time, people will be, uh, will be informed about that government. The inauguration had been scheduled for August the 26th. Some had feared it would be the trigger for more violence. Nyamitwa says it was brought forward for logistical reasons and the short notice meant most of those invited could not make it. Not a single African leader attended. Jean Keo, CCTV. Well, let's discuss this further now, and I'm joined by Thierry Verculon. He's the project director of Central Africa at the International Crisis Group. Thank you for joining us on the program. Now, President Pierre Nkurunzinza has been surprisingly sworn in for a third term in office. Why so sudden? Was this the most effective move to make considering the state of Burundi and the elections? Well, the, the way uh, this sworn-in ceremony was organized is, um, is uh, reflecting the very tense security situation in the country. Uh, since uh, the assassination of the number two of the Burundi regime uh, at, the, at the beginning of August, General Nishirimana, uh, there, are, there, there is a, a very uh, real security concern by the president and its entourage. Uh, they fear that they uh, might be the next target uh, of an assassination. And uh, that's why this warning ceremony was organized uh, so fast and, and so discreetly. Well, uh, you have been following events in the Central uh, African region of uh, Kenya there, uh, sorry, the Central African region in Africa there. Should we expect, though, a much bigger public backlash from the Burundians in the coming days or months as a result of this? Well, I think in the, in the coming days and months, uh, we must expect uh, an increase of uh, targeted assassination of key personalities uh, of the opposition, of the ruling party, and uh, also of the security forces. Uh, the, the murder of General uh, Nishirimana was uh, quickly followed by uh, the murder of uh, the Colonel uh, Jean Bikomagu, and uh, also an attempted murder uh, against uh, a very well-known uh, human rights activist in Bujumbura. Uh, I think this trend is going to uh, continue and, and unfortunately to increase uh, because uh, uh, there is definitely a radicalization on both sides and uh, on a daily basis uh, corpses are found in Bujumbura and uh, in the provinces uh, from both sides, from the ruling party, from the opposition, and even from the, the security services. So uh, this uh, very uh, tense uh, uh, security situation is going to deteriorate in the coming uh, weeks and, and months, unfortunately. 
Well, uh, Thierry, though, it's been a trying time for Burundi following uh, President Nkurunzinta's uh, intention to seek a third term in office, and it's been a trying time as well for the public there in Burundi. What message do you think the third term el election of Nkurunzinta is sending out to other African countries or heads of state on the continent? Well, I think it's, uh, it's definitely the third term uh, issue is definitely uh, a challenge uh, to uh, good governance in, uh, in Africa. Uh, we must uh, remember that actually uh, the idea to limit uh, presidential mandates to two terms uh, was agreed by the organization of the African United, United during uh, the Algier conference in 1999. And um, we see now uh, several presidents in uh, the Great Lakes, but in Central A Africa region, uh, trying actually to change uh, these constitutional provisions and, uh, and uh, rule their country again. Uh, the two terms uh, limit was uh, uh, designed basically to avoid the problem of uh, life presidency. Uh, I think, unfortunately, we seem to be in some countries in Central Africa, in the Central Africa region, we seem to be back to square one and uh, with some president wanted uh, uh, life presidency again. All right, uh, Thierry Vaculon there with that update. Uh, thank you for your insights.